Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I have two 12 volt batteries hooked in series and they're hooked up to this device. This little gadget is designed to tell you your volts, your amps going through the wire, and your watts being uh, used. Now this is really interesting because you can use a multimeter and hook it to the amp setting and most of them go up to about 10 amps, some go up higher, but then you have to figure your uh, voltage out to see how many watts you're doing on the DC side and you end up chasing your tail around, the voltage fluctuates. So what this does is it simplifies it. You can look and say the DC side is using, there's currently X amount of watts going through there and it's useful for testing grid tight inverters. Because you can look over here on the AC side and see what it's producing versus what it's doing on the DC side and you can see how much uh, the lack of efficiency that the inverter has. Now I've done some tests with these that you're going to find quite interesting. These actually are more efficient than a lot of people claim they are. So we're going to cover that in a future video but what I'm going to do right now is just hook this up and show you how this runs. So what I've done is I've doubled some of the wiring up to accommodate the higher amperage that this is going to pull. Now you don't want to wire anything like this. This is just for a test. So let me repeat that. This is for a test. This is the incorrect wiring. But especially for these, because this is going to pull about 10 amps, which would fry one of these wires if you leave it on too long. So I'm just doing this for the video. I'm plugging the grid tight inverter in. And you're going to notice that the DC side, you can see the watts go up. So you can see exactly how many watts we're pulling pre-inverter. Now right now we're at 100. If you come over here, this is at 90. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update you as this goes up on the grid tight inverter. Now one of the neat features about this device is you can see that it starts on this side over here. It starts storing some of the data. So right now we're at 253 watts. That's probably as high as 11.5 amps that's going to start cooking this wiring. So I'm going to drop it off. And that's how, that's how this little device works. Now with this device, it goes up to 130 amps. So the device can handle a really high amperage. What it can't handle is high voltage. Uh, this can go up to about 60 volts. If you go over 60 volts, you'll probably destroy this. So you want to keep this, uh, anything, any testing that you do, 48 volts is fine, 52 volts, anything along that lines will work. You just don't want to go over, uh, or really don't want to go near 60 volts. Stay around the 50 area and you'll be fine. These are used to test uh, RC planes, and there's different places you can buy them. I uh, have some links on our website. We just added a new hot link page that shows you where we get stuff like this, stuff like this stuff like this, all the stuff that we have that we've used in different videos and of course stuff like this. Now the link that I have on the page for this it costs about 50 bucks. Um, I had a lot of luck with this particular link that it came within a couple days. I ordered another one from a, another country uh, from China from a hobby place and uh, that was a month and a half ago and I've yet to get it so anyways I'm your host Dan Rojas thank you for watching and enjoy our videos and definitely check out this webpage.